hello, and welcome back to Watch Dogs Wednesday. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I picked up my cup to drink some, uh, to, to wet my whistle before going live, and immediately, immediately spilled it all over the front of myself. <laughs> So my shirt's a little wet, but that's okay. It'll be fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. It's fine. It's fine. I, I promise. <laughs> At least the shirt isn't white. I mean, it's a transparent drink, so. <laughs> <laughs> to reference, uh, Vaughn and I were hanging out on video chat earlier, um, doing some, um, working on some stuff, uh, and <laughs> to reference that, Yvonne, ah! <laughs> was the exact sound I made as it happened. It's fine. Groot was just a little thirsty, you know? It's fine. See, he was just a little thirsty. Landed right on his face, right there. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> All right. So welcome back. And today we are getting into, for the first time, not my first time, for the first time on stream, Watch Dogs 2. I played this game once before when I first got it a while ago. <laughs> uh, Like... Yeah, <laughs> I haven't played this game in a while, <laughs> but I really enjoyed it, just like I enjoyed Watch Dogs 1 and, you know, Assassin's Creed and all of that. Um, <coughs> excuse me while I die. It's fine. Um, but uh, before we get started, <coughs> before we get started, before I die... <laughs> Christ. Maybe I need... Hold on. Yvonne, there's no, uh... There's no, uh... TOS about taking pills on, uh... On stream, right? Like, cold meds? <laughs> well... It's okay, cause I'm just going to, I'm just going to throw, I'm just going to quickly cover my mouth, and then, uh, yes, these are cold meds, nondescript cold meds. I'm gonna quickly cover my mouth, take a drink, and swallow air. <laughs> these are cold meds, cause I'm fighting a cold. <coughs> They are nothing recreational. <coughs> it's okay. If I get banned, I get banned. I don't give a shit. <laughs> if they ban me over cold meds, I swear to Christ. Anyway. Anyway, as I was saying, Linktree, Patreon, check them out. Support me. <coughs> Let's get started. New game. Uh, change difficulty. Normal, hard, realistic. Evan, what do you think? Realistic? <laughs> the main character in this game is black. So, realistic, he will die as soon as a cop sees him. <laughs> He'll get 17 warning shots into his back without having actually broken a law. <laughs> Happy Black History Month! Now yeah, we'll stick, we'll keep it on normal. I don't want to make it too much of a grind.
Exactly. What exactly what Yvonne said. Real talk, world sucks, BLM, ACAB. Also, Yvonne, I'm horrible. Because I went into these settings, saw this option up here, color, and was like, oh, if I click that and change that, does that turn it into white person mode and make it instantly easy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't point it out, but the, you, you had a brief glimpse at my other save game, and it did say 100% completion, just so you could, I could prove to you all that I have 100%ed this game. Bloom CTOS server farm in San Francisco. Good old San Francisco. <laughs> Here's our boy. Your boy. Consider this your dead sec initiation retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. And I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. By the way, we put this playlist together <laughs> to set the mood. Hope you like it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna quickly pause that. Uh, apologize for airing grievances on my channel, but after the color bit, whatever, I don't care. Honestly, my channel is exactly where you need to air, where you're supposed to air those grievances, because. I'm a white person, and so I can take it and handle it. <laughs> I won't get in trouble for saying things like, the cops kill black people just because they're black. Okay, now, uh, actually, I do need to be careful because this game... Uh... Game options, sure. Uh, settings. Audio. All right. Uh, Autoplay music off. Uh... What do you what do you think, Yvonne? Should I risk it? For music? No music. Thing is, that means no music whatsoever. See? No music whatsoever. Nada. It kind of undermines a lot of the uh, dramatic moments. But otherwise, I will probably absolutely get copyright stricken. <laughs> no music. No music. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk though, Yvonne, should I actually go no music? Hold on. I am holding. This is how I know you don't have enough black friends. <laughs> I know, I, no, 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 I know, I know, <laughs> I, I know, I did it wrong intentionally. Just so Why? you're clear. Because I knew it would piss you off. Because I knew it would make you and every other black person who watches this cringe. I did it wrong on purpose. Uh, I promise. Okay. okay. But yeah, no. No music or else you will get smited. On YouTube, I know I'll get smited. But like... Yes. But like... All right. But like... It's your YouTube funeral. Uh, not like I'm earning money on you're... YouTube yet. <laughs> True. Anyway. Bye. Later. Also, uh, friendly online players, hacking invasion off. Yep. Bounty hunter off. Online appearance. Eh, we won't worry about that. The voice chat off.
Okay, just in case any online shit happens. Oh, let's pick one for our, our smart, our background for our smartphone. I'm kind of covering it, but um, here, let me turn off my camera real quick. Oh, that's the game. This is what I wanted. <laughs> All right, Yvonne. Which of the which of these backgrounds should I go with? Oh, you're lurking. But Yvonne! Yvonne! No, Yvonne, come back! Five seconds! Which of these smartphones right here on the right should I go with? Smartphone wallpapers. There's Retro, The Return of De Raging Red, The Return of Dead Sec, Axe Friend, this purple one, The City Skyline, The Golden Gate, Puppers McPupper Face, Twinkles, Grid Light, Pitch Black. Hot sauce. OMG, Sitara. Wrenched. Or back to retro. Axe. Okay. Okay. Let's go with Axe, the Axe Fiend. Okay. All right, now we actually play the game. Wait, hold on a second. I just realized something. Settings, video, so I realized what, I just realized what was wrong. Display, we want. Full screen. Bye. Yes. And then we do we want V Sync on. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it runs. Should be running better than 39 frames a second. Eh, we'll do it. We'll we'll turn on V Sync. There we go. All right, fine. Oh, I didn't turn my camera back on. There we go. Hey, look, a guard. Recently postponed his wedding. Down there. Okay. One, two. Staircase. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Oh, 
we just yeet over the edge? Nah, we'll take the stairs. This is fine. I have a taser. There we go. Put the taser away. Before we go in there, though, what's around here? Anything? No? Okay. your time he's not in gotcha. there he is. so that's him he's got a gun is that a problem no problem is why you keep me around right time him I'm curious too late. He's in. Already? Don't play out on us. I have no idea. Nuh-uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's... Oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their phone? Ooh, what? Oh, God. Oh, God! Domain awareness retro. Yep, that retro. Seeing if there's anything to pick up. Nope. Okay. Gotta find the access key. Press V to toggle net hack. There we go. That's what I was looking for earlier. New York is still skittish after the 2003 blackout, but if we could show them how well the chipped cars and CTOS 2.0 are shaking hands here, it'll go a long way to alleviate fears of hacked cars and I missed uh, of hacked cars and hackers. Okay. Remission. That's great. Saved a child from car accident. Why are these nice people? I was looking for. I'm not quite what I was looking for, actually. 
There we go. Come on, step it, step into the light, sir. Online music courses. Fuck me. Okay. And then there's a guy above me. Too tall, too tall. Let's go down one. Okay. Well, let's try this one. Can I get to him? Apparently not. Okay. Well. Scout enemies using net hack and cameras. Press B to toggle net hack and X to hack cameras. Okay. Now I already know there's one above me that I can't seem to see. I have to physically hack that server. The ladder there and a door there. Another ladder there. Ooh, there's a person there. Okay. the server tower I could just go out there but I don't think I want to that. where was this guy the one above me anything in here does not look like it. Ah. As city representatives, the obvious question you're going to ask, why CTOS 2.0? Why is it right for the Bay Area? The answer is simple, connectivity. We're standing right in the crossroads of technological advancement and human development. As technology finds its way into every aspect of education, health, government, and business, the CTOS creates a common language to connect them all. So the question becomes, why wouldn't you want to help us write the dictionary? I mean, that was a good sales pitch. Just making sure I didn't mess anything with, the, with this net thing up. Oh, okay. Ensuring the future, put your future in bloom. No, thank you. Okay. All right, so we checked over there. Time to go up. All right, there's the guy. Let's come over here first. Is still skittish after 2003. Blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. We already read that.
exciting CTOS 2.0 features is the integration of our software into consumer vehicles. By brokering deals with the top auto insurance providers, we can offer large discounts to responsible drivers. So what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is, he's been hanging around the DedSec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. There was a lot happening there. And yes, I have a taser, not an actual gun. Start a swing. But because they were talking, it threw me off and I couldn't hear them. Or hear the guards and stuff. So. Nobody's dead so far. Just a bunch of tased cops. Or er, security guards. Alright. Uh, hold on. Button. Making sure I'm not missing anything important. Okay, they're searching the area again. Okay, so that's where I came in. Two are up. And then we just push the button. You wish tranquilizer darts were real? I mean, they are. I think the delay is just monstrous for you. 
Try uh, going into the thing and toggling the low latency mode and back. It's probably just a massive delay. Oh, there we go. Um, just checking my my OBS numbers. Everything's looking fine on my end. So it may so either you, you, your internet may be having issues or or Twitch is being mean to you. He's done this before. <laughs> CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high tech burglary. He's so. He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. But once in the system? Always in the system. Holy shit! He went for it! You won't have much time before the backups kick in. That won't get me there. Come on, ladder. There you go. He's going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. All right, enjoy your lurking. Yeah, Chat may be broken too, because the, the game. Hold on. I think I know what I can do to fix it. Let me try a thing here. Try switching you back to full screen borderless. See what if that does it. See if that fixes things. What he's gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level. Secret cow level. Music in this game, whether it gives me a copyright strike or not, is still fire. Alright. Because there's something I need to change the controls.
What the fuck? Why is my threat so high? Anime hardcore purple hair elf noodle search instead of Google. Uh, credit card online order for a radio USB antenna. Uh, criminal record. I could just sleep. Let's go for one of the rich boy things. The uh, trust fund baby or wife of a billionaire. I kind of want to go with life of a billion wife of a billionaire because I'm a guy. <laughs> and the picture is obviously a guy. Yeah, we'll do that. A lull. Just gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. over to it. Oh, R. There's something over there. Seeking confirmation.
take a look. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a <clears> few <throat> hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news fees are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So, am I in? Welcome to Dead Sec. <sighs> I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yo, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Something, man. It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. <laughs> you saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. I'm sorry. <laughs> All that data <laughs> in one place means 
they can reject your fucking application. I love them so much. I love this crew. Congratulations, you have been free rejected for our credit card. Sledgehammer is on fire. <laughs> That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government, they'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, fuck it. Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what what Bloom's up to, man. Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. <laughs> I love Wrench's face. Hold on. What? We installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. <laughs> hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Man bun. Mr. Man bun. Just yeeted his phone into the water. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Just, just chucked his phone into the water. Hello? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hackerspace. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. Dude had one of those nights where he just slept on the fucking floor. Yo, whose place am I in? <laughs> Yo, my man. Cause I can never make you happy. Luckily, I ain't ever had nights that bad. Guess I was lit, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations. So hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first day. All right, hit the app shop. Car on demand. Driver SF, already have. Scout X, already have. Noodle Maps. Instead of Google, it's Noodle. So, I'll probably need noodle maps, car on demand. Bertha.
always gonna be red because I am the Crimson Knight. The Zusume, which is the uh, game version of Mitsubishi. Dead Sec Patrol, which is a Dead Sec stolen cop car. Ah, there were more down here. Okay. All right. Okay, media player. Sorry, I'm just clearing the notifications. Come on, faster. There we go. All right. Uh, car demands. Dark discount. Anything else? Oh. Yes, in real life, red cars are more likely to get pulled over. However, not in this game. In this game, they don't go that realistic. Black or not. Hey, Sasha Blue. I have a cat rubbing on my leg. Sorry, I'm just checking some stuff real quick. All right. Okay. All right. Now I'm trying to. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, where am I? <laughs> Fuck. There I am. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We got a restaurant, bar, bar, yacht club. Fast travel to that. Buy new pants at a clothing shop. What clothing shop? It's a yacht club. Okay, that's a closed shop. Could fast travel to it. Now nah, let's let's uh. Let's get a car in here. Call me one of these Zusumes. Ooh. No, let's call this one. Okay, where's it at? Right there, hell yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Hold on. I need to turn. I need to tune down my uh, mouse sensitivity. A second, gotta change a couple settings. Mouse keyboard, customize control, driving. I'm looking for. There it is. Uh, 
also turn you down a titty bit. How am I going to fight the Fire Lord without any pants? By throwing a melon at him. Something that every driving game should provide an option for is traffic mode where it will like uh, make it easier for you to drive the actual speed limit and you know shit like that get out of the car thank you i have a shirt i have shoes What do I have in my wardrobe here? the morning after all right what do i got that's premium Ooh, yes please red shades red frames hell yeah Masks. Gives me stripper vibes. All right. 
What we got in here, though? Hats. What hats we got here? Um. Nah. Tops. Oh. Hmm. Hey, Vaughn, you there? What do you think? What do you think? Compared to the default outfit. So here's the default outfit. Red coat. Black version. She must not be here. Excuse me while I spend way too much time on this. Nah, nah, we'll stick with the default. However, what pants options do I have? Just those? on the oh wait no 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 those and then you know what I'm gonna put those on there we go that's not too bad yeah at least for now I can always do hey uh, you can change in the back have a good one all right. Ooh, do we want a bike? Fuck it. I think we do. I think we do want a bike. Uh, let's get this one. We have room for All right. I did. Oh, pff, I didn't actually. I did not actually complete the mission. God damn it. I did not buy new pants. Technically speaking, hey, get out I apologize, of game. Moron! Shit for brains! Ugh. There we go. Alright, Sitar. So where you at? Sending you the location and the passcode for the door. Now nah, let's get the car. Let's pull up the map. Thing going. You know what? Actually, no, I am going back for the bike so I can ignore traffic more easily. Here, y'all can have the nice car. I'm going to take this black and red bike. Truck it. Except not, this one's a hog.
but crotch rocket. Next time. You know, when I inevitably kill myself with this thing. Look at that skyline, y'all. Good morning, San Francisco! Trying very hard not to get distracted by how gorgeous this game is. You will be waiting for the day in which I get a crotch rocket. You mean in real life? Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, Crotch Rocket is a kind of bike, though, right? You know that, right? Like a glove. It's fine. It was like that when I got here. When it, it was like that when I got here. It's fine. Fine. The crotch rocket jacket. I'll go back and do it. <sighs> My nose. <laughs> Sorry, sir. You're, I'm trying to get past you. I'm sorry. I'm only here because the delay obviously hates me, even though apparently uh, it's only a second or two behind what I'm actually watching. Anyhow. So, the Weekender Bloody I was the one I was looking at. You were looking at the. You were talking about this one. Not, no, not the working man. The one next to it. Oh, the one that's actually called Crotch Rocket. Got it. Yeah. Okay, fine. Look at that. It's awesome. Eh. You don't like it? Eh. Oh, fine. You know what? I've got money. I'm going to go ahead and buy everything. Uh, don't buy everything. But completion. This is wasteful. And also the clothes here aren't that great. In, in, a, in a game where the money is literally unlimited? The clothes here really aren't that great. The game literally makes it so that you can get the... So that you can just get everything. Okay. But once again, the clothes just aren't that great. No, they're really not. They're really not. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. 
These shoes are like what little Nas X would have in his in his uh, <laughs> old town road. Yup. Uh. Take my horse to that old town road. Gonna ride till I can't no more. I guess you can wear the bloody jacket, but I like the crotch rocket, but whatever, okay, I mean. I'll wear the crotch rocket because that's what you want me to wear. Uh, you can wear whatever the hell you want. <laughs> Goes around in just the underwear. I mean, man got legs. <laughs> oh, this song I know is copyrighted, so I'm gonna exit the song, the shop. Before. Run, homie. We're fine. We're fine. I love that song, though. Like in real life, I love that song. That travel is unavailable. That's okay. I'll go down to here. <laughs> Okay, I'm leaving now. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, Felicia. Uh huh. Yeah. Oops. Huh? Sorry. Huh. Really? Hey, <gasps> Puppy. We get sure pet the doggo. Pretty soon. You? Haven't you got so better things to do? Absolutely. Ya popo. Ya popo. He's a good boy. <laughs> That's the Puppo! Oh, sorry. Wait, that was a... I was at a clothes shop. Hold on. Sorry, instantly distracted. Dash and Vine, let's go. Hey, there's a changing room out back. I appreciate it. Wow. Immediately distracted. All right, Yvonne. All right, so I'm not gonna buy any of these on stream, but like, Pizza Steve sweater. The time is meow. Yvonne, you need to get back in the chat, my girl. Come on. The Dork Lord is this sweater all and tie. Just 2007 millennial humor? Because Probably. I'm pretty sure that Pizza Steve is supposed to be referencing Pizza John from probably. the freaking Vlogbrothers. Yeah, probably. Yep. Well. So that's all the shirts. Here are the glasses. Just standard things. You know, they could have been more obvious by just saying good doggo. <laughs> like, we know what you're doing here. Crotch huggers. Should I wear crotch huggers with the crotch rocket? Yes. Actually, considering everything, the inseam is pretty low. Yeah, that there's yeah, that inseam is pretty damn low. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's check the bags. Eh, nah, not right now at least. Hats. Could give him a beanie. Oh, God. Fedora. Oh, God. There's one that's literally called the Funky Fedora Milady. Oh, no. Nice hat guy. Uh... Oh, God, it's Howie's old hat. <laughs> Can we, can we, uh, you know what, I quit, I quit. Footwear. Loafers. All right, I think I checked everything in there. It's fine. The crotch huggers you know. with the crotch rocket jacket. Let's go. With the 
with the proper selection of the stuff from that store specifically, it would look like you were going to like one of those uh one of those black churches where all the boys are like we are on the latest fashion and then they have like the brightest colored shirt with tight pants and the loafers with no socks <laughs> yep. can you tell i'm scarred <laughs> nah just a little okay okay i'm gonna go rest my worm eye now look i've got it zeke uh -huh. yeah. bye later Yes, you can take selfies. No way. This game is so going to get me in trouble with both YouTube and with Gary's Games and Glory. Hell yeah. What's your problem? I can't believe my hand slipped. It must have been an earthquake. There's no other way I'd have messed up like that. I had to completely strip the paint off and then start from scratch. Ah, it sucked. But I gotta say, my miniature army is going to look amazing. Uh... Your deck the fashion is, is on point. You've got too many cards. Here, look. Get rid of all your wetlands cards. Your monsters there are all garbage, and you're only getting a plus one synergy bonus. You should be drawing plus three in like under four turns. Hi. This game is gonna get me so in trouble. Yo, it's you fine. interested in taking a turn? We need one more person to play. It's one of those new German games. Yeah? Shit, that's free road. It won a golden ace. I'd love to, but I'm kind of running late. Eh, fair enough. Hi. So, I rolled a 12 and just barely made a hit. But it was enough. My paladin was down to one life before I was able to heal everyone with a prayer for divine intervention to my deity, Arneson. Not the German board uh games. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause and separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Man, this is happening. You better get to it. Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate and ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. So that wasn't my phone. <laughs> I love Sitara. Marcus! <laughs> Check you out! Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. Yeah, give me a second. The dead sex stop the shop. Let's wear that one. I like that one. Glasses. Oh, no glasses. Got it. Bottoms.
Yeah, we'll go with that. No bags, hats. Oh, we'll go with the Grim Reaper. But where? Yeah, we'll go with those masks. I'm gonna change that to that. Sorry, I immediately got rid of the crotch rocket jacket, Yvonne. I didn't miss anything. No glasses, no. Okay. And then I could change clothes there if I wanted. Zedsec found Josh. Hot sauce. Posting. Oh, hold on that. Hold on to that. Um, I'm having some technical difficulties over here. Let me check something here real quick. Give me just a second while I take care of something. You will go down to here. This. Oh, interesting. The guy, you at the guy with the mask. What's your TikTok handle again? Actually, for real, for real, why isn't TikToker trying to lure people to the social media app? He's literally made for this. You're procrastinating on resting. Fair. Um, he's a little. T the truth of the matter is, he's the reason that whole thing got started. Like, if, if I'm remembering the timeline. Those LED, those LED masks and things like that that he's dressed up in, like he started that trend. I'm pretty sure. Um, or he started it when that trend was high, but like just I don't remember when this game came out, but it was, uh, I'm pretty sure it was before TikTok existed. It's all his fault. His fault, so he was made for this. I mean, fair. Okay. All right. Let's try that again. Dead sec found Josh. Hot sauce. Posting anti CTOS videos on invite. Kid had a plastic Halloween mask over his face, a skull. But like the worst dollar store skull you could find, you can see his eyes through it. Big no-no when it comes to avoiding a profiler. He had a distorted voice, but he didn't change his speech patterns. See, Josh, he's high-functioning autistic, which means he's got a very specific way of talking. Sitar found him easily, but he wasn't at all what we expected. When you get down to pure coding, Josh operates on a higher level than the rest of us. We got to look at a CTOS profile and all kinds of nasty flags popped up. Emotionally challenged, unstable, even a low mental maturity score. I love He's him. none of those things, and he quickly became the activist soul of our group. Josh is one of the best. He has a black and white way of seeing things, fair and unfair, which means he can be refreshing and often hilarious. We caught a glimpse of the damage CTOS dealt him. Rejected care programs, cut funding, overcharges... We offer to help him make things right. When we met Josh, he had the right intentions and the wrong approach, like a laser putting on a pretty light show instead of burning holes. If Bloom's system wants to make him unemployable, 
damn straight we're gonna snatch him up and point him right back at him. The original Chicago DedSec has coordinated operations, everybody mostly working towards the same goal. Rumors say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. The Council of Daves. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing their efforts. I know because I studied everything about them, even ran a few of their ops. I wanted to emulate them, try to figure out what worked for them and apply it to us. But the members of our Bay Area dead set couldn't be more different from each other. Now, if there was a spectrum spanning anarchists home. to activists, we'd probably fill the whole damn thing. But there's one thing that unites the key crew. Each one of us has reason to hate big data, or more specifically, Bloom and its CTOS. I've been overseeing operations, making sure people get to where they need to be with the tools they require. I've got eyes on the big picture. The way I see it, I've lit the fuse. It's only a matter of time before Bloom feels the dead sec explosion. <laughs> Behold, our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999, absolutely. In other words, it's the level up menu. Three D printer. Back before three D printers were all the rage. The wrench. <laughs> Man, what to say wrench. about this guy? Some freaky shit going on right there. I'd like to say he's actually a sensitive, charming guy beneath the harsh exterior. But I'm pretty sure he's a fucked up motherfucker all the way through. I don't <laughs> even know who first recruited him. He just started showing up at local hacker spaces and building his tools of destruction. At first, I thought he was trying too hard. Like he was a FBI plant or something. But no agent is gonna pull the kind of suicidal stunts this guy does. I think the truth is, Wrench doesn't care if he dies, but he's not going quietly. Even so, I'm glad we've got the wrench on our side. One of the group's biggest problems is lack of GSD, getting shit done. The wrench is pure GSD, and he brings his own sledgehammer. He's not some dumb thug either. I've seen some of his code, he's legit. Probably why he's interested in DedSec and not some street gang. You know what, I take that back. He might actually belong to a street gang. Who knows? One thing <laughs> I do know about Wrench, the man hates Bloom. I mean, hates them. I can't get the why from him. It's obvious he wears the mask to avoid facial recognition, but what's he hiding from? He's not safe. I love Wrench. Wrench is my spirit animal. So what do you do around here for fun? What do you mean? This is fun. Yeah, but outside this place. No. Right. Uh, nice talk, Josh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love Josh. I love them all. They're all of the all of these characters are very like are, are very likable. There's Horatio. Can I talk to him? Nope, not yet. There's Satara. So we've been looking at this new guy, calls himself Retro. Now I like his style, spent some time in Oakland. In fact, that's where he earned some of his hacker cred. I read everything I could about it when it was going down. The home domain center had to deal with Homeland Security. 
They rolled out cameras in Oakland and started stockpiling data on everybody. Somehow Retro got targeted by the thing and profiled him based on his computer skills and marked him as a prime suspect in the local high-tech robbery. The evidence was all digital. Nothing put him at the scene of the crime. And the case <laughs> was a shit show. Full of quotes from people who didn't know anything about technology, lies everywhere, false flags and fear-mongering. <laughs> they weren't about to admit to a flaw in their system. Retro got lucky. He got a judge that decided not to throw the book at him. So he ended up with community service. He says it wasn't a big deal because he got to work with kids. Taught them the truth about the system in place. Probably the best lesson they've ever learned. But he knew he was going back after the HDC. He data mined them, hacked into the accounts of their key members, exposed every little thing that showed just how corrupt the system was. A huge victory, right? Yeah, maybe not so much. Oh, he spanked the HDC, no question. Got the program shut down hard. So where did all those cameras in Oakland go? They're still there. But guess who owns them now? Bloom. They're part of the CTOS, being used to track and profile people, just like the HDC was doing. And now Retro's got himself a nasty profile on record. We think he's gonna be eager to do something about it and can't wait to see him work. My bet? He's prime dead sec material. Let's talk about Satara. She's been driving dead sec in the Bay Area. The hacker space? She's paying for it with uh, <laughs> borrowed money. <laughs> every whole dead sec I love every her. flyer? That's Satara. Like... She's even had a hand in our core tool set. Found one of the first zero days in CTOS 2.0. Some of the guys call her Madam President, but I see her as more of a pirate captain. She'll lead you to the treasure, but you piss her off, you're walking the plank. I had a long talk with her once. Found out where she gets her relentless drive. She's got rich parents back home in Calcutta, and I mean like drive a car in the house rich. They sent her to Ivy League schools. Yes, plural. Hoping to expand the dynasty, I suppose. But she didn't stick with it. She rejected their money, too. Everything she's got now was taken from people she says didn't deserve it. Satara's seen her own relatives pulling strings, taking advantage. She says shit like that will never change because people at the bottom think they can't change it. And she says we're right at the heart of it now, with Silicon Valley pushing us towards a point of no return, replacing elite individuals with unstoppable corporations. Bloom makes the top of her head. And she calls CTOS 2.0 their preemptive strike on any opposition. All right. Electroshock device. Create a distraction. Vehicle directional hack. Remote control. Reload speed. Resources. Auto takedown. Um, let's go with this one. Have more. You have more. And no, let's go with remote control. Remote control. I do not have enough for remote control. Nope. 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 And nope. Okay. Okay. Dr. Wrench. Behold, the 
wonders of technology. A 3D printer? This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of little weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up. If only 3D printers were that fucking quick. Pumps already specced and assembled, you know? Don't have to break off the, the extra shit. Sniper stun rifle. Non-lethal sniper rifle designed to incapacitate targets at long range with stun gun darts. This weapon features a unique paint job. A sniper taser. <laughs> Okay, so this one is is a lethal one. Non-lethal shotgun. I'll worry about that in a second, but uh Okay, hold on. Poor noobs pistol. Have anything I can get here for free? No. Oh, wrong thing. We'll get the air shotgun. Let me go ahead and pick up a couple of these, a couple more of these, uh, free guns for the sake of having it.
All right. Now then, back to that sniper rifle. Air shotgun, stun sniper rifle, stun and stun pistol. I do not have the money for the quadcopter yet. All right, let's go talk to Horatio. What's up, my dude? Good to have another brother here. Good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big-ass drone. And Wrench? Good engineer, too. <coughs> but better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead <laughs> sex herder. go where it has the most impact. You heard of Prime 8? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops <laughs> against Prime 8. Bet they'd love your help. Prime 8 are the online opponents. It's something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here. But now, it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to. You know. Nice. And, speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Bloom. Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting down with a former street artist. Sweet T, as he's known in the community, is here to promote a new book of his Sweet art and a brand new fashion line, including t-shirts, caps, and bling. Very exciting stuff. I'll do a lot of the extra exploring and shit on my, uh, in my free time. The app's downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DeadSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh! and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Hipster merchant! <sighs> the app is your data mining tool. Of death! Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DeadSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our Skrilla. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. <clears throat> hey, so what's this about Bobo Dakes? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. Just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. 
Yeah, maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. Must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks, because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we your contact assistant. Karkani? You I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Ooh, I love this. Mm, I'm fucking freaky. Bounty Hunter activity, Showdown activity. So these are all online activities. <coughs> um, New operation. Unlawful disorder. Marcus, guys, the Cyber Driver trailer just dropped. Oh yeah, sweet. Hey, don't watch it without me. <laughs> Meet you at the hacker's wave. I'm on my way. Cyber Driver! I'm gonna con a pharmaceutical CEO first. car. I've got a new Bobo track the world has never heard before. How's the soundboard coming? Yo, a Bobo Dates, bitch. <laughs> oh, perfect. So how do we contact Karkani? I'm going to visit his mansion. I need to see his face when we do this. some of our data. Fuck, where are they? In a car, moving fast. And Marcus, they have someone on their tail. I think someone else wants what they know. Okay, I'll find something fast and get to them first. Marcus, they're getting away. You've got to move faster. Yo, I'm on it. Copy that. Dispatch. We'll do our best. Oh boy. Regret. 
<laughs> I have regret in my old bones. Can I turn off online invasions entirely? Because you can in the... Okay, so I can encounter random ones, but I can't... that are friendly. But, okay, so they won't just show up and fuck me over. Anyone check out the tunnels yet? Did that occur to anybody? Let's get back on the road, shall I? Come on, what? It's fine, just a burning husk of a car in the middle of the road. I'm sure it's fine. Ooh, that's a nice car. Mine now. The spiritual organization New Dawn is accusing Oakland City Councilor Miranda Kamei of defamation. In a recent interview, the councilor had described the organization as, quote, a fraudulent pyramid scheme. The organization seems to have fought back with more than just lawyers. The councilor's private life was recently revealed when medical records of the councilor's transgender treatments were mysteriously released to the media. A spokesperson for New Dawn said that the organization had nothing to do with the leaked medical records and in her statement accused Councillor Kamei of desperately seeking attention. Interesting. Time to mess with the farmer clown. This ass face deserves it. this yo bitch it's bobo dakes holy shit i'm a huge fan are you taking me up on my offer yeah i laid down some hot tracks really fantastic yup can i get a sample on the raid on the crate That's dope. That's your best work yet. You're welcome. And this is exclusive, right? No one else gets this, just me? Yup. So how do you want payment? The bitch better have my money. I do. I just need to know how to route it to you. Y'all, check it. Ah, there. That's the routing number? Yup. Uh-huh. Sent and confirmed. You got it. This is awesome, man. This is like a dream come true. Yo, bitch. It's Bobo Dakes. What? They say God made man in his own image. But God made himself in Bobo's image. What are you talking about? Yo, bitch. It's Bobo Dakes. No. 
No. No, 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 no. Oh! What the shit? No! What? Come on, what are you guys doing to me? Why me? Come on! Oh, good God. Ah! You know why, business? prick. I got shareholders, bitches! Fuck your share shareholders. That was gorgeous. <laughs> guys, guys, he just, he just donated 20 million to leukemia research. money <laughs> yo who did that oh man that was amazing oh <sighs> okay let's go find out what that operation intel is real quick but let me dip over here and pick up this money bag Bitch, had, better have my money. Sniper rifle away, my guy. Okay, I'll talk later. Okay. Congrats, Marcus. Our follower count is growing fast. How many are actually giving us access to their computers? All of them. That's the point. They give us access to their power. We grow a network of computers that makes us stronger. Our own giant cloud computing network. So do people sign a contract? I vow to let DedSec own my processor? We're transparent. They know before they ever install the app that they're giving us access to their computing power. But never their personal info. That's a lot of trust. Silicon Valley would kill to have that level of intrusion. Private data farming runs their whole economy. Yeah, but we look out for our own, man. That's why people are joining our movement. To make a statement against the technocrats. I didn't want to get out of the car, my dude. I got a shirt just like that. Ugh, not the pickup lines again. Have we met? Yeah, at the party, remember? Oh, there's a... <laughs> kind of a lot I don't remember from that night. <laughs> totally understand. What are you up to? I've been writing an exploit for the CTOS-enabled ATMs. They got a lot of new features we'll be able to fuck with. You want to give it a test run? Hell yeah, I'd love to. Send it on over. Great. The name's Kaylee, by the way. Marcus. I know. We've already met. Right, right. What? <laughs> Right, right, right. Looks like I've signed up for the test run of Kaylee's CTOS ATM exploit. Like people watching, only you get to look up their noses. Fun. Dream a little, Ranch. We can use this to fuck with greedy douchebags. Or help out the underdogs. 
<laughs> Let's see if I can figure the thing out first. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. Cop. Cop, 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 cop. Okay, there's something up here I want, that I'm trying to figure out. Whoop! Careful, Marcus. I didn't mean to do that. I love how he makes everything look so purposeful. I'll get up. Oh, I have to get on the roof, don't I? <clears throat> okay, fine. It's a parkour puzzle. Yay! Okay, maybe it's not for me. Is it for my jumper? on the wall please it's so cute I love it oh damn it I wonder how far away it can get I don't remember We were um money bags pass um yes 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 now where did I put my car there it is So sorry, people. Is a <coughs> oh, I can't jump that high. Shame. Okay, I'll have to grind those later. Excuse me.
All right. Let's see how the banks deal with Callie's exploit. This is too much fun to fail. Welcome to Bloom's new CTOS enabled banking turret. Oh, great. I gotta fucking listen to a machine. Welcome back, Mr. Johnson. How can I assist you today? Blow me. Just give me my money. Mr. Johnson, one alimony payment has been removed from your what? account. What? A alimony? The, the, we're talking about alimony payments. There's no, there's no alimony. Uh, you can't do unfucking believable. Mr. Johnson, all alimony payments are Whoa, whoa, whoa no, 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 what are you talking about? A year of alimony payments. That doesn't... Hold, hold on a second. What the... Did my ex-wife put you up to this? What the fuck? Hey, you're alimony, bitches. It's fine. That away. Gotta hand it to Kaylee. I love this exploit. <sighs> oh, look at this place. Buys underwear Welcome online, male grooming CTOS product rep. Enabled banking teller. One moment while I confirm your identity. Whatever, robot. Welcome back, Mr. Daniels. How can I assist you today? Well, you can not talk to me. He's a bit of a dick. Thank you for your generous donation, Mr. Daniels. Charity? What the fuck? Ugh, sentimental bullshit. You have been reported for fraudulent banking activity. Please wait here. Authorities have been- No, alerted. no, no, I just- I donated to charity! It was for charity! <laughs>
I mean, that was a little rough, but I'm okay with that. That was a tree. Intrusion detected. Let's see whose financial futures we can screw with this time. Welcome to Bloom's new CTOS enabled banking teller. A student. One moment while I confirm your identity. 네. Welcome back, Miss Lee. How can I assist you today? Please give me some money. What? Negative? Buy pesos? Or give money. I'm Good gonna news, give her money. Lee. Your account has been credited with two hundred dollars as part of our cash in giveaway. But she's a student. I love her. Congratulations, Miss Lee. Your monthly tuition payment has been taken care of to thank you for being a loyal customer. You're a student. Of course it's for real. It's such a great place to live! <laughs> she was a fucking student. I ain't gonna do her duty. I ain't gonna do her dirty. I'm gonna do her dirty. School should be free. Fuck it. All right. Woo! Parking, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Need to find the way upstairs. Must be here. Yeah. Nope. Sure. Sure. 
Um. Is it over here? Yes. Here's my way up. Okay. Here. And then this way. And up. 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 Oh. Drop the geometry there, Marcus. Love messing with these ATMs. Oh, it's an old white man. Welcome to got thirty nine hundred and outstanding traffic violation. He's an investment broker. Welcome back, Shut Mr. Up. Coleman. How can I assist you? I hate today? you. How can I assist Holy you? Holy shit. I want some money. What do you think? Thank you for your generous donation, Mr. Coleman. What are you talking about? I didn't donate anything. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm gonna write it off. God, this is slow. What the fuck? You have been reported for fraudulent banking activity. Please wait here. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. This is a mistake. I'm a registered broker. Oh, that's not the button I wanted. <coughs> yep. Buy a car. Uh -huh. You know, because it's that easy. Good day to buy something. Okay, so it's not that easy. <laughs> Be safe. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. God damn. That makes it fully yourself. Envy of love of head. Okay. Ah, there's a crazy preacher nearby. When we have all your needs met at the push of a button without Yo, you kissed your cousin with that mouth? Hey. Dude, are you trying to hit on me? Fuck out of here. <coughs> woo -woo. What's this? Oh, yeah. Come on. There you go. Oops, so I'm pushing the right button. I'm gonna stay out of it. How? Sure. 
I fucking get up there? Okay, bye, St. Castle. <laughs> bye, dude. Stand back. You're in my way. Oh, no one turned. Oh, wow. Hey, I, I don't. Wait, what? <coughs> oh. Hmm. There's no other obvious way. Sure. Sure. There's got to be Now in the in the original Watch Dogs there were um lifts conveniently placed where you needed to start these these climbing puzzles. But in this game they put the they make them drivable, movable. And so you have to find them, move them into location. <coughs> and then do the thing. I don't know if know if this is one of those ones that needs one of those things or not it's fine no cops come it's fine just borrowing a truck it's fine Just to be clear, I don't have one of these that I can summon, right? Uh, it'd probably be under heavy vehicle. No. Uh, yeah, no. Usually, it feels like it's not usually this far away. They're usually placed nearby-ish. Like, right where you need them to be. So that you can find them, but you have to work for it a little bit, you know? Guess I'm just blind? Or stupid? Or something?
Is this top floor? Nah, it can't be the top floor. Well, considering the top floor is a garden, like a park. Here we go. I was looking in the wrong spot, y'all. Nope, not that. Well, I don't have remote control yet. Do I have the ability to level up any? Yay, okay. There we go. on the right track move lady there you go Woo! oh I'm trying to drive it under a tree well I've been smarter Let's try this. <laughs> Alright, are you gonna be a dick or are you gonna be nice? Damn, Marcus, playing fuck the bag again? <laughs> Never gets old. Third rehab in 12 months. One moment while Clerk and vintage re record shop. Sure. Evil Corporation, scan away. Welcome, Mr. Suarez. How can I assist you today? Hmm. Congratulations, Mr. Suarez. A $200 Evil Corporation. has been added to your account. Sure. I'll take your blood money. Congratulations again. We've added 5,000 noodle shares to your portfolio. Noodle? I don't have... Wait, how many shares did you say? 5,000. Okay.
the dumpster's coming with me. <laughs> okay, how far away is the next one? Um, oh, it's all the way over here. <laughs> Darn. I was genuinely gonna just take the fucking thing with me. <laughs> Excuse me. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. All right, are you gonna be nice or bad? Ghost in the bank machine again. Naughty or nice? How on earth would they know that they're store bought? I'm such a good baker. Welcome to Carol. Patricia Kwan, born with eleven toes. Think this helps. Dental hygienist. Just located his finger. Seventy-five thousand. I'm just saying the supervision is inadequate. Income. That's all. Welcome back, Mrs. Kwan. How can I assist you today? How about you contribute to the bake sale for sport equipment? Not you, Carol. Sorry. That's how they are, Carol. It's all over their fingers. It's in their hair. What do you expect? So let the bitch think whatever she wants. Who can? I know. It's kind of great, isn't it? I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Congratulations, Mrs. Kwan. Confirming a $200 deposit to your account. What? Now let's see how she asks and how anything. she reacts. Carol, this thing just gave me 200 bucks. Who's complaining? Yeah. Your e-transfer is complete, Mrs. Kwan. What? What? That's not what I pressed. Not talking to you, Carol. Of course there's no call button. I really did not need this today. God damn it. Yeah. Congratulations again. As our 1,000th customer, you've won $1,000 cash. What? I can't believe it. Carol, this thing <laughs> is a thousand bucks. What am I? No. Uh-uh. This is a me fund. A me fund, Carol. Never mind. I gotta go. I feel the need for a babysitter coming on. <laughs> All right, where's the next? Next is Helps if I wait for it to complete, huh? Next is over here. Where's the nearest quick travel point? Coffee shop. That works. <clears throat> All right. We're not that far away. We'll take a jog.
Are you gonna be? Can't get enough of these nice? ATM hacks, can you? Nah, never enough. Never. You're gonna be naughty or nice, my dude. Suffers from arrhythmia. Mm, Daytime TV actor. Welcome to Bloom's new CTOS enabled banking teller. One moment while I confirm your identity. Confirm? Confirm what? You don't watch television? Welcome, Mr. Franklin. How can I assist you today? <laughs> okay, so now you recognize me. All right, let's see those G's, baby. Thank you for your generous donation, Mr. Franklin. Donation? What donation? Whatever. Maybe my publicist can handle with that. I, I don't have time for this. <sighs> oh! Okay. <sighs> Ooh! Yes. I'm gonna give him money first. Mr. Franklin, you've been awarded a bonus of two hundred dollars. Wow, for what? Being so damn handsome? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your account balance is zero. Have a nice day. My account balance is what? Checking. Your account balance is zero. My account is zero. Oh, that's funny. Do you have any idea who I am? Oops. Kaylee's ATM hack passes with flying colors. The woman's got skills, and I think we can safely add this one to the dead sex suite. Marcus, I hear a little something in your voice there. Yeah, respect. Somebody's got a crush. She's not interested. Apparently, drunk me already asked. I remember that. Ugh, painful. All right. Is there another one or not? Thanks for the subscription. How you doing? Let's have a conversation with people before we do the mission. There's a lot of crazy shit beneath the surface. You know that or you wouldn't be here, right? You could say that. Well, having you here, getting followers to download our app, going public with all this, it'll be good to start seeing what the hell's going on. All right. Can we talk to anybody else? Nah, Josh is busy. Horatio is busy as well. All right, to wrench it go. <clears throat> hey, Marcus, have you seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, hey, pull it up, no, man. No, no, not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. Right. We need quiet. Have you seen it yet? No, man, I waited for you. Best. <laughs> 
Thank you. All right, everybody, we're gonna watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. In a world <laughs> where technology connects everything, in a world for justice. God damn it. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. Simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber catastrophe. Cyber driver. A cyber catastrophe. Hit him with the code flurry chip. Jimmy Siska is. Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me, or die. Devon Vaughn Devon. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devon. They're just script kiddies. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber Driver. Action hero, badass. Talking car. A admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is going to help us do it. For real? Would nav has a ton of followers. Yo, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec, and we'll look for the car. All right. So what's the deal here? Are we are we issuing an advisory? No. Why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. No. Uh, let them. Don't worry, Cyber Child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. <laughs> no, don't. No, don't. Josh says no. No, don't. <laughs> HMP Studios, we are holding you solely responsible for the threat that is CyberDriver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence, and that we can't excuse. It seems like you could deal with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, we'll come to you to teach. We are launching Operation Hack and Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are dead set. All right, everybody wants to talk. Let's start with Horatio. How far are thou? So the Von the Von dude is a race car driver whose friend made a smart car. That scientist guy was killed by a hit woman, and somewhere in there, some hackers have to be saved by the car before they fuck up shit for the president. This movie makes total sense. Yeah, I'm all in. <laughs> All right, Josh, what you got? <coughs> People still seem shocked by in-home surveillance. It's been happening for years. Maybe, yep. but there's a difference between worrying about it and finding out it's worse than you fear. It's always worse than yeah, you fear. Yeah, true. So they need yeah. to either accept it or modify all their electronic devices to stop reporting back what they see. I don't think most people know how to do that. We can teach them. Let's teach them. I'll set up a wiki, starting with home. I love Josh so much. All right, wrench, what you got, my boy? Yo, come to see the magic happen? I'll let you watch while I do my thing. I love if watching you, you do magic, your thing. Maybe you should be watching me work. Ho ho! Did Luke ride on Yoda's back? I think not. I was always more of a Lando man myself. Owned the Millennium Falcon, ran Cloud City, blew up the second Death Star, killer mustache. Killer mustache. I'm more of a chewy guy myself. Rips off arms, handy with a hydro spanner, more hair than an 80s Greek porno. Yeah, I could see that. Do you want to? I still have some old tapes. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> Does he have more to say? Apparently he has more to say. What do you think? Skynet or zombie apocalypse? What? What's finally gonna take the human race out? Between CTOS and all the tech giants, we nearly have Skynet. Just a matter of time. And the zombie apocalypse? Plague, pestilence, nanomachines looking for organic fuel. Again, matter of time. If we go I with mean, rampant fair. nanomachine zombies, isn't that getting close to Skynet? It all clicks now, doesn't it? It's gonna be a tag team. Shit. <laughs>
Sorry, I had to alt tab to fix the thing. Gonna be a tag team between Skynet and zombies. Fuck. <laughs> what you Marcus, got? This right here is the start of bigger things for us. DeadSec is gonna spin that movie script right back at them. The exposure for DeadSec is gonna be huge. It sure is. You picked the perfect time to join us. It's not often we do ops this wild. And maybe it's a sign of things to come. Speaking of things to come, that is where we will call it for the night. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little taste of Watch Dogs 2. I know not much has really happened. A lot of it was me running around and fooling around in shops and customiz uh, customizing controls and stuff like that. But it's just a nice little, a little, little appetizer taste, you know? Uh, the, the chip, the chip bowl before the meal, um, the bowl of chips and salsa before the meal. Um, but, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for, uh, I hope you've all been enjoying this. Um, thanks again to uh, Arrow. I'm assuming that's you. Uh, thanks again for the subscription. Um, and, uh, uh, thanks again for Yvonne B hanging out earlier and uh, so on and so forth. <coughs> you should check out these amazing recommendations I have up here, which includes Yvonne B, who was in our chat earlier. She's right up there. Uh, I have even more recommendations in the link tree below. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, let me quickly, just quickly, uh, studio mode scenes. All right, let me quickly adjust where this is so that you guys can actually see both links. There you go. Um, so, yeah. Uh, check out the link tree below for more uh, recommendations as well as links to my, uh, the link tree has links to my socials, my Discord, uh, and um, a bunch of other places and other things like that, uh, including a link to my Patreon, where if you support, if you want to support me directly, um, for only a dollar a month, you can subscribe to me on Patreon, um, and get your name in the uh, after in the credit scene at the at the end of my uh, stream of each of my streams. Um, I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you. It's not necessary to support me on Patreon. It's it'd be very nice, but it's not necessary. Um, all of my content will remain free regardless. Um, and the, uh, and, uh, no paywalls and all that. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, this will be going up. If you wanted to catch the, uh, if you wanted to watch the entire stream or, uh, watch any of my other streams, uh, you can check them out on YouTube, which you can find a link to in my link tree. Um, and, uh, that, uh, if you're actually watching this on YouTube, uh, my VODs go up a week after I stream them live. Uh, they go up on YouTube a week after. So a week from today is when this stream will be live and so on and so forth. So if you're actually watching this on YouTube, uh, my next episode of Watch Dogs 2 will be have will have uh, or will actually be streaming uh, live tonight, the night that this goes live on YouTube. It's complicated, but it's, it makes sense when you think about it and look at it on a calendar. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for hanging out. Um, I hope you all have been having a good week so far and have, hope you all continue to have a good week. That's it from me for the night. Uh, I will see you all back here again on Friday for more Shadow of War uh, D DLC. And yeah. Until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you, and I'll see you all next time. Love you all. Peace out.